on through tomorrow morning. Icy growth is going to be the main concern because we are in a weather storm advisory for that freezing rain and sleet. This is going to make driving extremely difficult. So if you can at all avoid driving until those roads are sanded or salted at least, definitely do that. Um, we're coming up with my full weather forecast. Christian? Hey, Caitlin, yeah, we start in a traffic alert this morning. The Benton County government says the uh, several roads south of Benton City and across are now back open after being closed because of those blizzardy conditions. The county says crews have now been able to clear them off to reopen them. It's still asked to know that you travel with caution and go slow on the roads, especially this morning with those icy roads. And the wind rain break is making roads impassable in Richland already. Now, according to the city of Richland, that main break was at the I-182 overpass on Keene Road. Thankfully, the city says a temporary fix has been made. Crews say they are working to fill the hole dug in the ground and are planning for a permanent fix to be installed in the spring. City crews say part of Keene Road is inaccessible in both directions and on I-182. One westbound lane is flooded, so you're asked to stay away from the area as possible. Now, if you plan on hitting the path this weekend, be sure you know the requirements on white paths. Traction tires are advised with some snow on the road. Stevens Pass is requiring traction tires due to compact snow and ice. So, Harvey Pass has no restrictions, but make sure that you have what you need just in case that changes. Rounding it out, Blue Pass is advising traction tires as well. Now, when you are driving on roads, especially in conditions like the one that we're seeing this morning, keep in mind that your car could skid and even cause a crash. And for training patrol teaches both over and under steering control. They tell us when it comes to over steering, when the car's back end is trying to come out in front of the car. I know that I may skid. I'm going to break in a straight line, separate the control as soon as I start my spin, or as soon as I start my turn, and I need to counter steer. Also, get on it, look at where I'm going. Now, under steering can happen with when the car's front end isn't responding as well, and the car can.